Hello, I'd like to take you on a canter through this lovely new book in the Cooks and Go catalogue called The Notting and Braiding Bible by Dorothy Wood. It's on page 771 of the Cooks and Go catalogue. Now, I have, to, um, I have to fess up at this point and tell you that I know absolutely nothing at all about Notting and Braiding. Um, but I would quite like to know more about it because I want to know whether it's something I will go in for. And so this book really has to be for a beginner because that's what I am in this particular field, a total beginner. So let's have a look and see if this book can help me and by extension help anybody out there who is like me. So let's go to the, the contents page. We have uh, essential equipment, general techniques, finishing techniques. And then we go into knotting, and that is quite a substantial chunk of the book. And then we go on to macrame. After that, we have a substantial section on uh, braiding, plaiting, and kumihimo. And then a very exciting, I have to say, very nice chapter, chapter at the end on projects. Uh, as I say, the introduction is brief and interesting. It's easier than ever to source materials for knotting and braiding. And then we get into essential equipment. And this is very, very detailed. There are so many different types of cord, and here is a very useful section on all those things. Now, she does have little notes throughout the book, which are also extremely helpful. The cords and threads that have been used throughout the book for the step-by-step -step photographs are not the only cord or thread suitable for each technique, and certainly not necessarily the best option, but they have been chosen because they show the knotting and braiding as clearly as possible. So, in other words, you're not restricted to what you're seeing in this book, which is good to know. So then we go on to another very essential bit, which is a bit on wire and the various types of wire that can be uh, plaited and braided and generally woven. And a very essential little piece here on wire gauges. I find a uh, wire gauge reading quite difficult, particularly if you're dealing with um, American gauges because they are a bit different to ours. Um, let's go on. We then have a section on beads. Well, there is a wealth of beads. Cooks and Gold have a very good selection of beads. Uh, findings also. Uh, if you have been doing any degree of jewellery making, um, necklace making, silversmithing, a lot of these findings will be already familiar to you. And the same, of course, is true of tools. Uh, these are all tools that are familiar to me from silversmithing. So we have the wire cutters and the round nose pliers and the flat nose pliers and the specialist tools. And then a section on general techniques. So, uh, Adding jump rings, these are very basic techniques which are very good for a complete beginner who is really looking to start out in this field. And then we get into the section on, I think I've turned two pages at once, the section on knotting. Now then, here's where I begin to worry because uh, I have tried uh, learning to do knots before you know the little rabbit that runs around the tree trunk and goes down the hole and comes up again oh dear I do get muddled up uh, but um, here we are told that even if you're a beginner to the craft of knotting you probably know more than you realize each technique is clearly explained with fully illustrated step-by-step -step instructions while the technique samples have been worked with standard cords for maximum clarity, the project ideas show how the beauty of the knots can be enhanced by choosing different cords or threads, thicker or thinner, depending on how you choose to use the design. So, so we go through a, a knotting basics section, which is very necessary. And then we have a very substantial section on individual knots. Basic knots, reef knots, carrick bend, 
and it goes on. It is really quite a substantial section on learning different types of knot. And then we get to knotted braids and basic knotted braids. It goes, or in these chapters go from basic to more complicated. Celtic bar, which I have to say is very attractive. So let's go into the braiding. Braiding is the interweaving of strands of cord or thread, manipulating all the cords at once in a particular sequence of movements. I have to say that this is my favorite thing in this whole book. I think this is absolutely beautiful, this necklace. And then there is a big section on kumihimo, for which you need these rather strange looking wheels. And uh, what is the correct wire to use for kumihimo? Uh, this this uh, 0.315 millimeter uh, wire is what is used in this book. And again, there is a section on the types of wires that are usable for kumihimo. How to, how to set up a, a, a disc or plate. This is all very essential information for somebody like myself who, who really is a total and utter beginner. This book really is very comprehensive. It gives an awful lot of information. There's working with wire, choosing wire. Again, you've got a photograph there of the various um, diameters of wire. And if you're having difficulty getting hold of any of these wires, uh, it is a good idea to phone Cookson's and find out if they can help you. Cookson's are very, very helpful, I have to say. There are endless techniques and suggestions in this book. And here's the, here's the bit on projects, which I, I think are very attractive. Love the earrings. That's my favorite. I love that. I love that. There's a lot here that I would be tempted to try out. On the whole, to answer my own question, yes, I think that this book certainly would give me all the information I needed to have as a complete beginner, and I would say it's worth buying. I hope you enjoyed that canter through the book, and happy beading.